Hello everybody and welcome to this video. This is an aerial tour of Cockermouth. The population of Cockermouth is between 9 and 10,000 as of 2015. The town has a lot of history which has happened over the past 800 years of its existence. Some good, some bad, but overall it's made one of the most positive communities in the area. Running through the town is the River Cocker and the River Derwent. The two rivers meet just next to the Jennings Brewery. Extensions to the town are always being built, there's always new housing estates popping up, providing more people to move to the area and create more jobs. Cockermouth has many, many churches. This is just one of them, which is situated right in the heart of the town. But there is around 10 churches in total in the town of Cockermouth. As we head down here towards Wordsworth House, this is one of the main tourist attractions in the town. William Wordsworth lived here with his parents, three brothers and servants in the 1770s, and even to this day it still remains a very, very popular part of the town. There is an open season for the house which is where visitors can take a tour around the house and even have a look in the gift shop. Moving over towards the Trout Hotel, this hotel has been very unfortunate with the flooding in the past few years, but they have revamped it this year to make it back into one of the luxury hotels of the town. It took almost eight months to actually renovate the hotel back into its opening state. It isn't public knowledge how much was actually spent on renovating the hotel, but you can tell they've put a lot of money and effort into it. This is Cockermouth Castle. The first castle on this land was built by the Normans in 1134. Significant additions were made to the castle in the 13th and the 14th century. The castle also played a significant role in the Wars of the Roses and in the Civil War, but it was badly damaged during these times. Currently, it is owned by the Wyndham family who have owned it since the 18th century. The castle is partly lived in, but it is open to the public on certain days throughout the year. This is the Jennings Brewery. It's been at the Cockermouth site since the late 1800s. The brewery has provided millions and millions of pints to the punters at their local pubs. The brewery is actually open to the public as well. You can take a brewery tour and have a taste of some of their different drinks. This is one of the more popular tourist attractions in the town and they run for most of the year apart from January. This is the new Don't and Castlegate Surgery which opened just under two years ago. It replaced the Castlegate Surgery which was right next door to it. The Cockmouth Sports Centre was opened in 1978 but over the past 10 years around a million pounds has been spent on revamping the whole centre. There's many things here including a large pool and a gym and it's all very modern facilities. This is Marketplace, one of the most colourful streets in the town. On here you'll find multiple bars and restaurants as well as little independent shops. In late 2007 it was revealed that the Marketplace would go through a massive regeneration. This was estimated to cost around £1 million but at the time the area did need a lot of work. Behind Marketplace you do have the Kergate Theatre. I actually held one of my film premieres there back in 2012 with over 100 guests. It was a great night and the venue could not have been more supporting of the event. It's a great place to watch a show, listen to music or just hang out with friends. To go along with all of the quirky independent shops there's also big name shops such as Sainsbury's, Wilkinson's and the Co-op. There's also an Aldi on the outskirts of town. Cockmouth is a beautiful market town, and it's easy to see why so many millions of people from all around the world come to Cumbria to visit Cockermouth. It's actually very large as well, it's a nice big town, there's lots of things all spread out. Cockermouth School was formed in 1984 when two schools joined together, the Cockermouth Grammar School and the Derwent Secondary School. It's for pupils ranging between the ages of 11 and 16, and the head teacher at the moment is Dr Rob Petrie. There's also a new sixth form centre which is for pupils ranging from 16 to 18 for further education. If you manage to miss the rain and get cockmouth on a sunny day, then it's a really, really great place to spend the day out. Have some lunch, have a nice walk around and check out all of the shops. But don't forget to bring a rain jacket because in Cumbria, the weather can change like that. This is Main Street, one of the worst affected areas from the floods. They'd prepared for a flood, but no one expected this. Water crashed through cockmouth, destroying homes and wrecking businesses. Although the area flooded in 2009 and 2015, the area has recovered very well. This was the worst hit area, Main Street and the lower end of the town. As you can see from these images, just the scale of the damage. It was a truly traumatic event for the people of Cockermouth. 
There's also many parks in the town with things such as tennis courts, nice walks around or even a ball green. This is the newest addition to the town. This is the new Euro Garage. It opened earlier in 2016 and it has many things inside such as Greg's, a subway and even a Starbucks external to the building. This used to be named as Oakhurst Garage but after the £1.5 million revamp it is now known as the Euro Garage. This land is where the Sheep and Wool Centre used to be, but after this was demolished earlier in 2016, it was announced that Premier Inn were actually going to be building a new hotel there. This area is where you go for all of the auctions for the farmers and also the building merchants as well. This is James Walker & Co, one of the largest employers in Cockermouth. They actually do manufacture over 200,000 different fluid sealing products. This includes gaskets, packaging and generic seals as well. For a nice trip out, why not head to the Wellington Farm Cafe and Tea Room, serving homemade hot meals, cakes and Jersey ice cream. There's also an animal enclosure which is free to enter and it's a really big attraction for children. Hundred Hill Hotel is one of the most beautiful buildings in the town. It was once a house and a nursing home, but it's been a family-run hotel for over 30 years. It's very popular for people for weddings, meals out, or even just as accommodation. And this is hardly surprising when you check out the view that they have. There's also multiple sports fields around the town. You've got places for football, you've got places for rugby, there's also a tennis court as I showed you earlier. There's also a very large cricket ground which is where the Cockmouth Cricket Club play. So feel free to go and watch them when they're playing. Thank you very much for taking this aerial tour of Cockmouth. I hope you have enjoyed it. If there's anywhere else you would like to suggest for an aerial tour then please do get in touch. Have a very good day and I'll see you next time.